Hey there folks, Antorius Fig. I'm gonna show you um, a single node uh, rooting method for cuttings. I have Craven's Craving. It's a black Madeira type that um, tried this summer and it was absolutely fantastic. So I took some really healthy cuttings, uh, a good Sharpie thick and cut them into single nodes. You'll see what they look like in just a second. So I put these down December 4th and I think December 26th, they saw the roots, so just yesterday, uh, really shoot out. So we're looking at about um, just a day over three weeks, and I've been checking them every day. So, and the roots really shot out, they're in sand, and the very bottom layer is perlite. And I open it up every couple, two, three days, and just missed it lightly, and it's sitting on a heat mat at about 78 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's take a look. So these three are Craven's Craving. This is a Sussex, that's Campanieri, and that's how I can tell what they are. So um, looks like the Sussex and uh, two of the Craven's Craving have popped roots. So let's see what they look like. I'm gonna pull them up very gently. This is the first time I'm doing this, so you get to see the success or failure at the end of it all. So that's what it looks like. And so I'm going to put some mycos right on the roots and this is uh, Promix HP which also has mycorrhiza in it. Uh, I think that's a critically important element to getting a lot of good strong root development. So I'll come back after I get this uh, potted up here. So I want this growth tip to be standing straight up so you can see the roots down there. You can put pre-moistened soil. I'm just going to water these in here. a little more all right so we're going to put this in a uh, heat dome i'll show you that so here's a humidity dome, and uh, I have it closed up. You can open it or close it. I'm going to keep it pretty closed. And I have a heat mat right here that's turned on uh, without a uh, thermostat. So this will be on all the time, um, and I'll be checking the temperature. Got a little bit of water in here so that can warm up and provide some of the uh, humidity. And this little um, little tray has some slits in it, so that'll let the humidity up. And uh, I'm gonna put some other ones in there and I'll come back. So here's one of the Craven's Craving. You can see those roots just really shot out. Uh, this was not scored. These were just cut. You can see the very top. I gave a little bit of uh, wood right above the node and um, cut it all the way down. And this is a little fig right there. I'm gonna take this off. 
We don't need that taking up energy. And I'm going to transfer it in here. And put some uh, mycos on there and get it situated. Here's a third cutting, and the roots on this just look fantastic. And this is, you know, they weren't there, and then a day later I can see them right through the sand. So they just really shoot out. Um, so I'm going to plant this one in straight up, and uh, it'll grow out of this node that's right by my thumb right there. So I don't see any roots on uh, these two here, so I'm going to spray it down. And uh, cover it back up, put it back on the heat mat. And I'll get some other ones. In this tray, you can see some roots coming out. This whole tray is Craven's Craving. And uh, you can see how they, the buds are starting to grow. So I only see one, so let's just take this one out and pot it up. So I pulled this out. This is something I really wanted to show. Um, you can see this cutting right here is not very brown. It's not very lignified. Um, getting a little uh, either rot or browning on the backside, so we'll see how that turns out. And uh, But these are rooting, and cutting was pretty healthy cutting, but um, I'd say it was fairly green, um, you know, a little more on the brown side, but you can see for yourself, uh, this is pretty green and it's still rooted, um, very healthy cutting, very fresh, it's been with me the whole time and uh, was in the fridge for a while, I see some more roots right there, I'll take that one out too. All right, let's I'll pop this one. Okay, well, this is interesting. Um, look at the root development. It's pretty far up on this. I'm gonna put this cutting in probably just like that with uh, the node barely sticking up. Um, it really shot up the sides, that's fantastic. And you can see all that scarring down at the bottom there. All right, so these were laid down here and quite a bit was covered in the sand. So I'll get this potted up. I'm just gonna lay it on there just like that. And I'm gonna put this right on the roots. This is probably really fascinating watching somebody put some dirt in there, but uh, we watch fig videos, so I think we're pretty easy to amuse among fig enthusiasts. All right, and then I'll water that in. I don't see any roots in any of these other ones, so I'm going to spray them down. That's probably a little more than I usually would do, that's for sure. Um, but I think these are ready also to pop pretty soon. So it's a lot of growth, a lot of stuff going on there. And uh, it's not going to be any secret when those roots uh, shoot out of there. There you have it. We got four Craven's Craving and a Sussex. And they are all potted up. The buds are sticking up. We have leafing out already in the Sussex. And uh, these have been pretty much in the dark up until now. So now that they have roots, and I watered them in with uh, probably a, a one quarter uh, Miracle Grow strength um, fertilizer. That was the uh, liquid to uh, moisten up the soil. So that's what I put on there, and 
these lights are going to run probably 18 hours a day and that's what they need at this point is to uh, get those buds to start pushing out some growth and I'll come back with an update video I outpotted about five of those uh, single node cuttings and those are the ones that showed some really explosive root growth so that's pretty interesting to see how they grow and how they shoot out and that was really one day to the next I've been looking at those every single day and uh, those roots just shoot out uh, pretty much overnight so I can let those keep going see how they leaf out I'll do some updates on that and um, should be pretty interesting these are really healthy cuttings so I don't think you're going to be able to do these with uh, pencil thin type cuttings uh, but that's certainly something um, somebody may want to experiment and do that uh, for my experiment, I just want to see if the single node cuttings work and uh, let's see how they react to getting up potted. Uh, hopefully they don't go into shock and uh, just keep growing. So I'll be back with some more updates. It's uh, December 27th, so put those down December 4th into the sand and I put them down in a very thin layer of perlite at the bottom and then sand and then kind of bury them in the sand. You can see how I did that with the nodes sticking up and some of the nodes started growing leaves and the sesic was leafing out already. But uh, now it's uh, December 27th. A little shot of the Christmas tree here. So uh, when I look back at this video, I can remember when I was doing this, but you can do this at any time. You don't have to uh, start early. You can do this end of January, February, doesn't matter. Um, so if you get a nice cutting and it's expensive, um, you may want to take one of the nodes, give this a shot as well. Uh, and you can, it's pretty cheap, pretty low maintenance. You just put it on a 78 degrees uh, heating mat and keep it moist and see if you get some roots and get a tree out of it.